I'm going to preface this by saying that I currently have no intention at all of going to see Star Wars 9. I have touched on this in previous videos, but I am so thoroughly disgusted with the way these movies have been handled that the Star Wars 8 effectively killed any interest I had in continuing to watch this this series. I did enjoy Rogue One, but that wasn't really connected with 7, 8, and 9. And uh, so, you know, that's probably my favorite of the latest Star Wars movies that have come out. And um, so even though I'm not going to go watch this, I, I don't plan to at all. And I really doubt this trailer will convince me otherwise. I'm going to check this trailer out because I've seen it all over YouTube today. All these people talking about it. So um, I've put off watching it because I know it's kind of going to irritate me. Just because the character of Rey just inherently irritates me now. I just don't even like to look at her. So that's how she's such a terribly written character that it's just, to me, it's just like such an insult to even have to consume any part of her with regard to like the storytelling. Uh, so, you know, a, a big part of me is going to go into this with some level of resentment. But I'm going to check it out just to see what else they happen to show and see if there's anything that will be redeeming about this at all. But I'm not holding out high hopes. And what they did to his character in the last one. Okay, so we're going to have some retrospective montage stuff going on. I'd rather a Boba Fett movie than another regular Star Wars movie. Feels more like a teaser. Oh, finally, no more Ray. Okay, um, that looks like something I'd like to watch. Okay, uh, yeah, no, was not impressed, and Ray trying to act like a complete badass at the end is just more humorous to me than anything else, just because of how terribly written she is. I, I, I have a real disdain for things that are very poorly written, and one particular type of character that is extremely poorly written is the Mary Sue character. And that's exactly what her character is. And that's why I absolutely cannot stand her and why it has completely ruined this, these Star Wars films, uh, the latest Star Wars films. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not something that I have a, a very high tolerance level for, so 
Um, I definitely have no plans at all to watch this. This felt, this trailer itself felt like more of a teaser than anything else because it was just under two minutes and five or six seconds. Less than that, about two, two minutes because the last, the final few seconds were just the, the you know, the text going across the screen. But um, the first minute of it was just a montage, a retrospective type, you know, scenes from the previous movies and so about a minute of it was not even no it was less than i'm pretty sure it was less than a minute that actually showed clips from the new uh, the new series i mean the new uh, sorry the new movie uh, and it none of it is all inspiring to me the lightsaber thing supposed to look really cool and all that kind of different you know interesting but in the hands of ray it just makes me want to laugh because i just can't i can't with this so, um, and it's a shame too, because I did enjoy the Star Wars movies. I, I, I've mentioned before, they were never really, you know, on the top of my, my list of like favorites and, but I did enjoy them. And I wish that I had been able to see the first three, not episode one, two, and three, but four, five, and six. I wish I'd been able to see those in the theater when I was a kid, but I didn't really go to the movie theater very much as a kid. So I never... I never saw those. I think the very first Star Wars movie I ever saw in um, the theater was episode three. And I enjoyed it. I liked it. I know it gets a lot of hate and Hayden Christensen gets a lot of hate and that's, you know, it's, it's well deserved, but I still enjoyed the film and I thought that there were some parts in it that he did very well. And I, I liked episode two also. I, I didn't think it was that, that terrible. Um, episode seven... I sort of kind of liked, but it never really set completely well with me. And it wasn't until I had some time to chew on it that I realized why. And it's because the character of Rey, she destroyed it. I mean, she, she's just, she has single-handedly made this thing awful to me. And I had started watching episode eight and when Luke Skywalker tossed his lightsaber over his shoulder. I was like, yeah, no, no, this is just too ridiculous. And I was like, I can't, I can't put up watching this nonsensical writing for two and a half hours. And the things that I have read since have convinced me I made the right choice because it sounds like it was an absolutely horribly, horribly written film, which doesn't surprise me. Um, and I'm glad I didn't watch it because it just would have made me angry and I don't generally like to subject myself to things that I know are going to make me angry which is why I put off watching this trailer the whole day and um and it kind of you know I mean I was only exposed to two minutes of or let's say a minute at most of of stuff that was just like uh but uh yeah well you know I checked it out I'm not I'm not feeling the hype. I'm not feeling any. I'm just, I, I will be glad when it's done and we don't have to look at, at Ray anymore. We don't have to be exposed to terrible writing. And I'm hoping that any other movie that comes along after this with, with regard to Star Wars will be put together much, much better and will be thought out a, a little bit more um, constructively with regard to storyline. And also that the people behind the movies won't turn around and handle it in the very poor way that has been handled so far with regard to uh, their treatment of fans who have had very legitimate um, criticisms of, of these films, specifically the last film. Uh, that's that's really not a very great way to be treating your fan base. If you want to bring them back, don't do things like calling them toxic when they have criticisms that are valid, and they did. So, you know, I'm hoping that after this Star Wars 9, that'll just kind of be, you know, everything will be sort of wiped clean. Not really, but maybe anything else that starts fresh will be uh, much, much better I am looking forward to the possibility of watching The Mandalorian. I did like that trailer. It looked pretty cool. And I'm curious to see if the writing um, will measure up. Anyway, I can't think of anything else.
to add to this so I'm going to sign off for now and go make some coffee because I need to get back to work okay that's it you guys bye